Aloha, Hosa members, advisors, and esteemed guests. Welcome to the 16th annual Hoi Hosa State Leadership Conference closing session. I'm Kristen Miyamoto, your Hoi Hosa State President, and I now call this session to order. At this time, I would like to introduce your 2020 to 2021 Executive State Council. They will also serve as your MCs for tonight. Please help me in welcoming your Hawaii Hosa State Vice President of Technology, Jeremy Bruin, your Hawaii Hosa State Vice President of Programs, Raina Fukuoka, your Hawaii Hosa State Secretary, Malia Bute, your Hawaii Hosa State Treasurer, Tyler Lee, your Hawaii Hosa State Historian, O'Brien Antonio, your Hawaii Hosa State Secondary Representative, Alexis Joy Valoria, and finally, your Hawaii Hosa State Post Secondary Vice President, Travis McConaughey Taylor. As this year draws to a close with our State Leadership Conference, let's take a moment to remember the times our members put their minds, hearts, and souls to make Hosa great. We'll first start off with the roll call of all of this year's participating Hawaii Hosa chapters. When you see your chapter's name pop up on screen, make sure to make some noise. Wow, wasn't that amazing? It is so great to see so many chapters gathered here to celebrate all of your hard work you accomplished throughout this whole year. There are 36 chapters represented at this session today, and we are so grateful for everyone's participation. At this time, the State Executive Council wants to congratulate each and every one of you on the months of preparation and studying that you've put in for your competitive events. We hope you've had an outstanding day of competition, breakout sessions, and networking. In a few moments, you'll learn the results of the competitive events and find out who amongst all of you will qualify to attend as Hawaii's finest delegates at the 2021 HOSA International Leadership Conference in Orlando, Florida. Last year, Hawaii HOSA took 92 delegates to the first ever virtual International Leadership Conference. 13 secondary and 9 post-secondary members received medallions or top 10 finalist pins. We are extremely proud of how all of our delegates represented our state on the global stage. Every one of our pin design submissions was spectacular, and it was evident that everyone put a lot of time and effort into them. As many of you have already seen, this year's winning pin design depicts a beautiful turtle started by waves and the flowers of Hawaii. This pin well portrays Hawaii's true beauty, strength, and welcoming spirit of aloha. This gorgeous design was created by Angelica Samara from Pearl City High School. Angelica, your design truly embodies the meaning of Hawaii, and it will be recognized internationally as it will be traded with other host members from around the world. Your pin will join the series as the 16th pin representing Hawaii Hosa. Thank you once again for designing Hawaii Hosa's pin. At this time, we would like to recognize the organizations that have supported us throughout our successful year by dedicating their time and effort to support Hawaii's future health professionals. Our first special guest represents an organization that Hawaii Hosa has been closely working with for the past four years. This organization is NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Please give a warm round of applause to our partners from NAMI, Anissa Wiseman and Kumi McDonald. Diagnostic Labs has donated 1,000 bags for the delegation, and we give our sincerest thank you for the generous donation. We'd also like to recognize Dr. Kelly Whitley and Ms. Erica Davis 
in the Hawaii Pacific Basin Area Health Education Center at the UH Manoa John A. Burns School of Medicine, or AHAC. Dr. Kelly Withy and Ms. Erica Davis. AHAC has been supporting Hawaii HOSA by covering registration fees for students attending international leadership conferences. AHAC has also donated face masks and face shields for all HOSA delegates this year. On behalf of Hawaii HOSA, we want to give you our greatest mahalo. Since the very beginning of Hawaii HOSA in 2005, Mr. Henson has always strongly advocated for Hawaii HOSA. He is without a doubt an individual who translates our dreams and aspirations to reality, never letting obstacles stand in our way. Supporting our officers and competitors at the state and international level, providing promotional ads showcasing our international winners, offering paid internships with Hawaii Pacific Health, providing all of us with these wonderful composition books, and providing professional development for teachers are only some of the many opportunities he has provided for our members. Mr. Henson, we thank you for your continued support, and we are looking forward to witnessing Hawaii Hosts' future together. Now is the time we've all been waiting for, the presentation of the Competitive Event Awards. Please help me in welcoming our presenter, Mr. Paul Ascension. Aloha, and welcome to the 2021 Hawaii Hosa Virtual State Leadership Conference Awards Ceremony. My name is Paul Ascension, and I have the honor and privilege once again to MC this portion of your conference. First off, I wanna thank the staff, faculty, judges, volunteers, and of course you, the students, for making this all possible. Special shout out to our wonderful state coordinator, Ada Toyama. No thank you to COVID-19 for stopping us from gathering and having a conference over at the Hawaii Convention Center and also from stopping me from having my once a year lunch over there. <laughs> First a disclaimer, if I do pronounce your name wrong, my apologies. Your generation has wonderful names. My name, Paul, I just figured out is an old name. No one names their kids Paul anymore. You might have an Uncle Paul. So Paul is like old. Old like names like like Herbert or Carl. Carl Henson, if you happen to be watching this, we want to thank you for always supporting HOSA through, of course, Hawaii Pacific Health. Without further ado, let's get this party started. We are going to start off with the health science events. First event, post-secondary behavioral health. In second place from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Jolene May Pasqua. In first place, gold, also from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Shira May Padron. Behavioral health, high school. In third place, from Moanalua High School, Joel Watanabe. In second place, from Pearl City High School, Emily Sepulveda. And first place gold, from Castle High School, Taylor Ann Amasi. Our next category, Cultural Diversities and Disparities in Healthcare. A lot of stuff with cultural diversity in today's news, but let's go with this one. In third place, from Maui High School, Angeline Faith Cayetano. In second place, from Maui High School, Chenson Cabalse. And winning gold, in first place, from Moanalua High School, Kristen Miyamoto. Dental terminology. Hmm. I'm pretty sure dental terminology, a lot of people got this word uh, that's been around for a while, but it's kind of new to them. Dental terminology, the word halitosis. <laughs> I've never in my life used this much mouthwash since using my mask. Anyway, let's move on. Dental terminology. High school, in third place from Lahaina Luna High School, Maxine Rivera. In second place, also from Lahaina Luna High School, 
Jacqueline Nguyen. And in first place, gold from Kapolei High School, Jeffrey Lee. Health Career Exploration, our first middle school event for this awards ceremony. Middle school, in third place, from Makai, Eva Makai Middle School, Haven Ramiro. In second place, from Highlands Intermediate School, Azalea Cariaga. And winning gold for our first middle school competition, Highlands Intermediate School's Christy Lau. Health Informatics, post-secondary, one winner gold from the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Alana Shinde. Health Informatics, high school, one winner gold from Moanalua High School, Janelle Joseph. Let's move on. Human Growth and Development High School, in third place, from Kapolei High School, Alex Jane Acosta. In second place, from Castle High School, Kelly Urosaki. And winning first place, from Lahaina Luna High School, Caitlin Buckley. Medical Law and Ethics, post-secondary. One winner, from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Katrina May Polentino. Medical Law and Ethics High School. In third place, bronze. From Hawaii Pacific Basin, Ahek Maui and Angel Le De La Cruz. In second place, from Waipahu High School, Jane Pasquale. And winning gold from Maui High School, Lovely Salazar. Math for Health Careers, Middle School. In third place, from Eva Makai Middle School, Maddox Inaba. In second place, Silver, from Highlands Intermediate School, Tezekiel Gauteote. And winning gold, from Highlands Intermediate School, Kiana Rain Sumarnap. Medical Math High School. Third place bronze. Actually, no, this is post secondary. My apologies. Third place bronze from the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Kit Nakirk. In second place silver from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Chelsea Nguyen. And in first place gold medical math from the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Zero Dane Delacruz. Now we're here to Medical Math High School. In third place, bronze from Aiea High School, Ashlyn Uehara. In second place, from Lahaina Luna High School, Andre, Andrew Nguyen. And winning gold from Maui High School, Sophia Otsuka. Medical reading. Middle school. In third place, bronze. From Highlands Intermediate School, Nadia Heinwich. In second place, also from Highlands Intermediate School, Aiden Chang. And winning first place gold, their classmate from Highlands Intermediate School, Shelby Watanabe. Medical reading post secondary. One winner, one gold. From Shamanad University, Gerald Bagain. Medical Reading High School. In third place, Bronze from Lahaina Luna High School, Angelica Simon. In second place, Silver from Baldwin High School, Aaron Mukai. And winning the gold from Lelehua High School, Trey Lam. Medical Spelling. Post secondary, one winner, gold. From Kapiolani Community College, Charity 
the Balos Medical Spelling High School. Now these are hard to spell. If these are your names, try spelling them if they're not your names. In third place, bronze from Maui High School, Zoe Marie Ch Chioko. Is it Zoe or Zoe? Because there is an Okina in your name. Zoe Marie Ch Chioko. In second place, silver from Farrington High School, Alanis Peralta. And winning gold, medical spelling first place from Kalani High School, Trin Tran. Foundations of medical terminology. Hmm. This is another middle school event. In third place from Highlands Intermediate School, Andrea Orioste. In second place, Silver from Highlands Intermediate School, Annika Bercasio. And winning first place gold, also from Highlands Intermediate School, Kaisen Nishitomi. Medical terminology. You ever wonder where they get these healthcare terms? Man, whoever made up these words are amazing. I at least know where head, shoulders, knees, and toes came from. It came from that song. You know the song. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Medical terminology. <sighs> Post-secondary. In third place, Chaminade University's Eleni Suava. In second place from Kapilani Community College, Menel Chloe Marquez. And winning first place gold medical terminology from Kapiolani Community College, Cassie Miller. Medical Terminology High School. In third place, bronze. From the Hainaluna High School, Kathleen Baniquet. <clears throat> in second place, silver from Waipahu High School, Rovia Lynn Arciaga, and winning in first place, gold, Kalani High School's Emily Quach. Nutrition, <clears throat> excuse me, middle school. In third place, bronze from Maui Waina Intermediate School, Clive Gaurian. In second place, from Highlands Intermediate School, Maya Oba, and winning gold from Eva Makai Middle School, Ava Kissel. Nutrition High School. In third place, from Pearl City High School, Lauren Suzuki. In second place, also Pro City High School, Taylor Lowe, and winning gold from Seabury Hall, Mansa Devaki. Pathophysiology, post-secondary. In second place, silver from Chaminade University, Alicia Chavez. In first place, gold from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Wanli Hu. Pathophysiology High School. In third place, bronze from Kapolei High School, Sheila Kunimura. In second place, silver from Pearl City High School, Tyler Lee. And in first place, gold, Kamehameha Schools, Maui, Xander Kalikdan. Pharmacology, post secondary. In third place from the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Christian Lopez. In second place from Chaminade University, Kelvin Manganan. And winning gold from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Maifi Trande. Pharmacology High School. In third place, Mililani High School's Kara Saruwatari. In second place, Lahaina Luna High School, Abigail Akamine, and winning first place gold from Castle High School, Jordan Goya. 
We move now to the health professions events. This is great how they got things broken up, makes it easier for me. Just want to remind you guys or let you guys know I'm doing this all one take on my QuickTime Media. Let's start. <clears throat> Biomedical Laboratory Science. High school. In third place from Kapa'a High School, Alina Puig. In second place from Seabury Hall, Ross Peck. And in first place, winning the gold from Waipahu High School, Emily Van Fongsa. Clinical specialty. Post-secondary, one winner gold from the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Jacqueline Tennant. Clinical specialty, high school. In third place, bronze from Kamehameha Schools, Maui, Faith Paredes. In second place, silver from Moanalua High School, Elena Victoria Lebed. And winning gold from Kamehameha Schools, Maui, Amaya Genovia. <clears throat> Medical assisting. Post secondary. In third place from Kapilani Community College, Sarah Alkalabi. In second place, Silver, also from Kapilani Community College, Aimi Subia. And taking the gold, also from Kapilani Community College, Samantha Patana Paibu. Medical Assisting High School. In third place, from Maui High School, Gwen Tubon. In second place, Silver from Farrington High School, Angelica Maile Bagoy, Bagoy, Bagoya San. And in first place, also from Farrington High School, man, I miss the crowd cheering and man, Farrington, you guys were loud at these state events. You guys are loud. I missed that. But anyway, from Farrington High School, Gold, Julianne Domingo. Nursing assistant, assisting, post-secondary. In second place, Silver. From the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Jerry Bell Domingo Recto. In first place, Gold. From Kapiolani Community College, Ma Ritzel Acosta. Nursing Assisting High School. In third place, Bronze from Kalani High School, Jesse Zeng. In second place, from Pearl City High School, Kaylee Noda. In first place, Gold from Maui High School, Altine Jacob Tumakter. Physical Therapy, Post Secondary. Second place, Silver. From the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Shana, or Shane, sorry Shane, Shane Kabudol. In first place from the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Rodney Hernando. Physical Therapy High School. In third place, Bronze. From Kapa'a High School, Alexander Enriquez. In second place, Silver. From Lahaina Luna High School, Trinity Belmont. And in first place, gold from my home island of Kauai, Waimea High School's Morgan Joy Igaya. Sports Medicine High School. In third place, from Seabury Hall, Seabury Hall, <laughs> Seabury Hall, Tulip Hori. In second place, from Pearl City High School, Kira Bogas. And in first place gold from Kamehameha Schools Maui, Oceana Pacheco. Veterinary science. Man, every time I hit this one, I gotta think of an animal joke. Well, I'm Filipino. And I know we're not supposed to do any racial jokes anymore, but hey, let's go with this one. They say Filipinos eat dog. Well, not this Filipino. I can't stand it. 
because dog meat is too rough. <laughs> nah, just kidding. It's kind of dry, like bark. <laughs> Let's move on. Veterinary science. High school third place from McKinley High School, Leila Hirayama. In second place, silver from Maui High School, Alexandra Louis de Louis Dotier. And in first place, gold from Maui High School, Alexis Joy Valoria. Now let's turn to emergency preparedness events. We start off with the team of CPR first aid post-secondary. And in second place, the team from Kapiolani Community College, Cassie Nicole Ramos and Fatima Grace Saludares. In first place, CPR first aid, the team from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Bryson Kaomoto and Ray Koinuma. CPR first aid team high school in third place. From Castle High School, the team of Kalista Fujitani and Logan Yamamoto. In second place, from Kapolei High School, the team of Jamila Makalipis and Eric Quemaro. And in first place, the team from Kalani High School, Noah Fukushima and Bryce Kwan. Let's move on to Emergency Medical Technician, High School Division. In third place, the team from Kamehameha Schools, Maui, Katie Anakalea, Jaina Kanoholani, Haglin, and of course, that's the team from Kamehameha Schools, Maui. In second place, Silver, the team from Kalani High School, Reina Choi and Mana Iketani. And in first place, Gold, Emergency Medical Technician, the team from Kalani High School, Amika Madison and Allison O'Connor. Epidemiology, post secondary. One winner, one gold. From the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Sophia Shea. Epidemiology High School. In third place, Bronze. From McKinley High School, and Vogue. In second place, Silver from Pearl City High School, Keiko Nakanishi. And winning the gold from Molokai High School, Mallory Go. Life threatening situations. Middle school event. I thought about this particular competition as far as life threatening situations. And I just wonder what goes through the mind of people that go, you know what, let's put a trampoline all the way on top of stairway to heaven. Or how about those people that, hey, let's take a selfie. Let's take a selfie of those huge waves on the jagged lava rocks. Or, hey, let's lick this poison dart frog. Anyway, let's get back to it. Life threatening situations in middle school. In third place, from Kamehameha Schools, Maui, Jenna La Later. Later. Jenna Later. In second place, from Eva Mackay Middle School, Aiden Walsh. And in first place, and I'm not sure if this is si sibling rivalry going on, that might be a life threatening situation in the home, but Eva Mackay Middle School's Noah Walsh. Noah and Aiden. Siblings? Public Health Middle School. It's a team event. One winner, one goal. The team from Eva Mackay Middle School, Deraya Bolden and Taylor Pennell. Public Health High School. In third place, none. In second place, Silver, Waipahu High School's Taryn Hori and Kayla Jurisen. In first place, Public Health, the team from Barrington High School, Ma Katrina De Peralta and Maria Angela De Peralta and Luis Lorenzo De Peralta. Just kidding, it's just Luis Lorenzo. 
Let's move on. We now have leadership events. Let's start with extemporaneous health poster, middle school. In second place silver from Maui Vaina Intermediate School, Violet Kato. Winning gold from Eva Makai Middle School, Rea Kamakani. Oh, sorry, Kawakami. Japanese, not Hawaiian. Kawakami. Extemporaneous writing high school. In third place from Wanalu High School, Janelle Torado. In second place, Waipahu High School's Sagan Kurose. And winning first place gold, also from Waipahu High School, Ashley Valoy. Health career photography. Two winners. Silver. From Lelehu High School, Jaden Smith. Gold. Maui High School, Christiane Miguel. Health Career Preparation, Middle School. In second place from Eva Makai Middle School, Sebastian Sarpy. In first place, Gold from Eva Makai Middle School, Angela Bautista. Healthy Lifestyle, High School. From Kapali High School, Gold, Jesse Viernes. Let's move on. Job seeking skills. In third place, bronze from Lahaina Luna High School, Tanya David. In second place, silver from Castle High School, Marissa Morrison. And in first place, gold, job seeking skills, Waipahu High School, Jana Panganiban. Prepared speaking. Gosh, I wish I had time to prepare for this. <laughs> all one take, all one take. One person from middle school gold, from Maui Vaina Intermediate School, Sophia Kato. Prepared speaking post-secondary, one winner, gold. From the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Josephine Kaohi. Prepared speaking high school, three winners, in third place, bronze from Waipahu High School, Hannah Nicole Apostol. In second place, silver from Maui, Maui High School, Christine Bonilla. And winning first place, gold, Maui High School's Montserrat Lopez Rocha. I was wondering, Montserrat, do people just call you Mon? That would be a great name in Jamaica. You would be famous. Right? Hey, man! What you doing there, man? What you eating there, man? Hey, man! Where you be going, man? <laughs> so, Montserrat, congrats, congratulations. First place goal. Researched persuasive writing and speaking. Post-secondary. From the University of Hawaii at Hilo. Travis Makana Taylor. Bronze. In second place, Silver from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Jaskian Fikani, and winning first place, Gold from the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Jennifer Nakano. Research Persuasive Writing and Speaking, High School. In third place, Bronze from Maui High School, Jirene Angela Tadena. In second place, from Lelehua High School, Julian Madrid. And winning first place gold from Lelehua High School, Jean Brian Mercado. Research poster. In third place, bronze from Kalani High School, Naomi Okazaki. In second place, silver from Maui High School, Jansen Aseret. And winning gold from Pearl City High School, Sienna Mauricio. Let's move on to some teamwork events. Remember team, together everyone achieves more. I wanna thank again Team Hawaii Hosa for putting on this virtual event. It was some work, but we got it done. Congratulations to you all.
Let's start with biomedical debate. One winner, gold. The team from James Campbell High School, Senalin Grace Amazon, Amaya Dagting, and Desiree Ilaya. Biomedical debate, gold. Community awareness. The team that got bronze is from Wanalua High School. Lily Do, Kami Hashimoto, and Victoria Lee. In second place, Silver, the team from Mililani High School, Kevi Anzai, and Carl Estabilio. In first place, Gold, also from Mililani High School, Paige Fujiwara, and Jasleen Nita. Forensic Science, High School. In third place, Bronze, the team from Lahaina Luna High School, Akira Foreman and Charlize Wirtz. In second place, Silver, the team from Mililani High School, Vela de Guzman and Katie Young. And winning first place gold, Forensic Science, the team from Pearl City High School, Mia Dolente and Lauren Caitlin Tapat. Health Career Display, Middle School, in third place, bronze. The team from Eva Makai Middle School, Kai Akiyama Bevet, and Chaden Kim. In second place, silver. Also from Eva Makai Middle School, Naomi Peoples and Teja Lee Sakamoto. In first place, gold. Clean sweep for Eva Makai Middle School, Shiloh Castillo and Jayla Pettiford. Health career display, high school. In third place, the team from Maui High School, Aliyah Kasaruyan and Carissa Megumi Genoza. In second place, Silver. From Lahaina Luna High School, Lorraine Aguiar and Teresa Kabadin. In first place, Gold. Health career display from Lahaina Luna High School, Almari Idne and Nolita. Samisoni. Health education. Hey, this is cool. Again, thank you for all you health education teachers out there, especially you host advisors for helping all our students reach this part of their healthcare careers. Middle school. In second place, Silver from Eva Makai Middle School, Omarion Carr and Angel Ho'ohuli. In first place gold, the team from Eva Makai Middle School, Jade Concepcion and Talali Ruiz. Health education, post-secondary. One winner, one gold, one team. The team from Shamanad University, Aloha Le Garo and Taylor Ishisaka. Health education, high school. In third place, bronze. The team from Maui High School, Chloe Kiyomi Garcia, Kailin Nicole Guzman, Mia Su, and Brenna White. In second place, silver. The team from Maui High School, Angelo Besa and Francis Dantes Versola. Winning gold, also from Maui High School, the team of Dana Buck and Cheyenne Cadiz. Exploring medical innovation. Middle school. Ooh, this is cool. In third place, bronze from Eva Makai Middle School, Raiden Ani and Bren Jones. In second place, silver, also from Eva Makai Middle School, Audrey Braddock and Elijah Johnson. In first place, gold, Again from Eva Makai Middle School, Javen Palomares and Samara Vaught. All right, we're here. We're here at Public Service Announcement High School. I have yet to watch them, but I will after I'm done here. Let's talk about third place bronze. The team from Moanalu High School, Malia Bute, Reina Fukuoka. Jeremy Wan and Blaze Takemoto. In second place, Silver. 
The team from Maui High School, Samantha Joyce Della, Renzo James Gayoran, and Kyra Ong. And winning first place gold. Public service announcement, Lahaina Luna High School, Blanche Abbott, Farah Advinkula, and Jadelyn Fujii. Well, that's all I got from here. That was our last event. Again, congratulations to all the 2021 state competitor, competitors and medalists. My name is Paul Asuncion. It has been an honor, a privilege to again be with you guys virtually. And let's hope as COVID-19 dissipates that we can all gather together again in one big place at the Hawaii Convention Center in the near future. Mahalo nui loa, congratulations, and best of luck to all of you. Aloha. Thank you, Mr. Ascension, for emceeing yet another award session. Award sessions wouldn't be the same without you, so we appreciate all of your time and effort. Hoi hosa, let's give Mr. Ascension another round of applause, and a congratulations to all of those who placed in their respective categories. The 2020 to 2021 Hawaii State Executive Council has been duly elected and installed. Dear Hawaii Hosa, we know that this past year was not what we all hoped for. Our lives have been changed. Despite all the challenges we have faced this year, all of you have shown us that your perseverance and our collaboration are limitless. Seeing everyone at the new activities we experienced, from our socials to leadership workshops, it truly highlights the unity and spirit Hawaii Hosa exemplifies. Your 2020 to 2021 Hawaii Hosa State Executive Council would like to thank you for your resilience and perseverance this year. We thank you for your continuous preparation for our first ever Hawaii Hosa Virtual State Leadership Conference and for your dedication to Hosa as future health professionals. Through this pandemic, we have been able to set a higher standard for the years to come thanks to everyone's hard work and dedication. Though school and extracurricular activities remain uncertain, one thing that is certain is our commitment and our passion to be better for our community and the lives of those around us. Each and every one of you has inspired the State Executive Council to plan events that further the purpose of HOSA and to expand what our organization has already been doing. It has been such an honor for your state officers to lead and serve you in this year like no other and witnessing each and every one of you grow as individuals. We thank you for putting your trust in us. Once again, the State Executive Council would like to express our deepest gratitude towards all of you. Whether you will continue to embark on your HOSA journey or start a new chapter of your life as you enter college and into the workforce, we wish all of you nothing but the best. We look forward to seeing what all of you will accomplish in the future as we work together towards success. Dear Mrs. Toyama, thank you for all that you've done to help and enrich the lives of every HOSA member. From years prior to this year's to years to come, you've touched the lives of members from chapter member to state officer. To your kindness, the kindness that gives and gives without asking anything in return. The kindness that has allowed Hawaii HOSA to run smoothly behind the scenes. To your dedication, the dedication that puts in countless hours of work and stress for our sake. Without you, Mrs. Toyama, we cannot imagine our delegation flourishing successfully as it is today. And finally, to your humility. Thank you for your kindness, dedication, and humility that has given us the ability to lead, enrich, and fulfill the lives of those around us through your guidance. Love. Your. 2020 to 2021. Hawaii. Hosa. State. Executive. Council. It is now time to announce the next team of leaders. Your 2021 to, through 2022 Hawaii Hosa State Executive Council. Welcoming your new post-secondary vice president from the University of Hawaii at Hilo, Travis Makana Taylor. Your new state historian, Franklin Gutierrez from Barrington High School. Serving as your new state treasurer is O'Brien Antonio from Barrington High School. Presenting Hawaii Hosa as your new state secretary from Wanaloa High School, Alana Victoria Labette. Your new state vice president of technology, Tyler Lee from Pro City High School. Welcoming your new state vice president of programs, 
is Norlito Ranches from Maui High School. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present you to your 2021 through 2022 Hawaii Hosa State President, Kristen Miyamoto from Wanalua High School. In order for the newly elected state officers to begin their year, we will continue with the officer installation. To the newly elected state officers, as you repeat after me, be sure to unmute your microphone. As the 2021 through 2022 Hawaii Hosa State Executive Council, the members elect elected youth to serve as officers of Hawaii Hosa Future Health Professionals. If you're willing to assume the responsibilities of your office, please raise your right hand, unmute your microphone, and repeat after me. I understand fully. I understand, I understand fully. fully. The responsibilities of my office. The, the responsibilities, responsibilities of, of my, my office. office. And hereby promise. And, and hereby, hereby promise. promise to accept and fulfill these responsibilities to, to accept and fulfill, and fulfill these, these responsibilities, responsibilities to the best of my ability. To the best, the of, best my of my ability. ability. You may lower your hands now. The 2021 through 2022 Hawaii Hosa State Executive Council has been duly elected and installed. These state officers will assume their duties following the conclusion of this virtual state leadership conference. The team will get right to work to serve and represent you this year. Their term will conclude at next year's Hawaii Hosa 17th Annual State Leadership Conference. On behalf of Hawaii Hosa Future Health Professionals, we wish the newly installed officer team the best of luck in the coming year. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your 2021 through 2022 Hawaii Hosa State Executive Council. May I remind you that the symbols of your office are the Hosa letters. Each of these letters alone means very little but together they represent the strength of our organization. In the same respect, each of you alone can do little, but together you can work to carry out the activities and duties of Hawaii Hosa Future Health Professional. Hawaii Hosa, please refer to the screen and follow along as we recite our Hosa Creed. I will start it off, then we ask that everyone joins in. I recognize the universal need for quality, compassionate healthcare. I understand the importance of academic excellence, skills training, and leadership development in my career pathway. I believe through service to my community and to the world, I will make best use of my knowledge and talents. I accept the responsibility of a health professional and seek to find my place on a team equally committed to the well being of others. Therefore, I will dedicate myself to, to promoting health and advancing healthcare as a student, a leader, an educator and the member of HOSA Future Health Professionals. I would now like to present your 2021 to 2022 Hawaii HOSA State President, Kristen Miyamoto to adjourn our virtual state leadership conference. Thank you everyone for joining us for this historic virtual state leadership conference. I appreciate each and every one of you for your dedication to HOSA and for the dedication that you've put in this entire school year. I'm not saying that this is the end, the end of another host a year or another state officer team, but the beginning of something better, a brighter tomorrow that is built upon the sacrifices of today. Throughout this year, I've seen the sacrifice of HOSA members to attend virtual workshops like FLW that are once in person. And even to this day, where all attendees attended virtual conferences and sessions that we experienced once with all five senses, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. The ride upwards is never completely straight. There may be curves and dips, but host of members always move forward. Move forward from our present state into the future. Although the events this year were virtual, I had an amazing time attending the workshops and sessions that our amazing health community has provided. A few examples, I went to KCC for their informational session and learned about the potential short-term nurse assisting programs that were available for those looking to apply to medical school to get clinical experience. I also went to the epilepsy and seizure first aid certification, like many of you did as well. The number of participants were outstanding, and I am so glad so many of you enjoyed participating beside me. Learning about the signs and symptoms of a disease never seemed more practical, because I know that in a real life situation, I know what I'm doing because I have amazing information from amazing presenters. Taking the test before and after really showed me how little I knew and how far I've grown in just a short amount of time. Although it was a little longer than my brain could handle, it was worth it 
because I learned something from it. Thank you, host and members, advisors, sponsors, guests, and most of all, the world's greatest state advisor, Mrs. Toyama, for an unforgettable term. Members, thank you for an amazing year and for studying so hard. Sponsors, thank you for a generous support in whatever way we needed. Advisors, thank you for your unwavering dedication to education and HOSA. Finally, Mrs. Toyama, thank you for all that you've done for HOSA. I can't explain in words my appreciation for all that you've done in my life. I'm grateful for everyone for making this year possible and hope to see everyone continue their own hosted journey at ILC to unlock your potential. This concludes our 2021 Hoi Hosa State Leadership Conference. Great job to all of our competitors and congratulations to all of our medallion winners.